Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being able to support me as I support you, being able to resonate and knowing that you are not alone on this crazy journey that we constantly go through each and every day is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up, tell me about your impact and gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are uh, uh, see the videos uh, give you good vibes, I'm gonna like scratching. If give you good vibes or information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through some trying times right now, trying to find confirmation or validation towards their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It's so truly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all, the um, meditation music I'm listening to, I haven't heard this type of music in a long time. And I love it. It's called Fleet of uh, Fleet. Flute. Sleep meditation music. Relax Arabian sleep music. Meditation music. Relaxing music is. Um, and I will post that link in the description box below. And my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, don't stay focused on the door that God is trying to close for you. Yes, let that go. <laughs> let it go. I already know it can be hard at times. You know, when things have happened to you, people go out their way to just be a holes to you and just, you know, just try to ruin your day. I know it can be so hard at times, you know, focusing on the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Uh, Thinking about traumatic scenarios that you have experienced probably currently or even in the past. Um, there's like when we go through spiritual awakenings, it's like not to punish us at times, even though it can be very traumatizing. But it's to awaken what has been dormant for so long that it's been like crying to be popped out. That's just like a person had been in prison and they finally got released. And, you know, and trying to act the daggone fool, you know knowing they didn't do anything but it's just like we go through these trial and error, errors all the time but it's like our spiritual awakening dark night of the soul and our ascension and kundalini and stuff like that um we tend to resurface a lot of bad memories a lot of traumatic vibes a lot of negative vibes and stuff like that but it's just for us to be able to see them for what they are look at them in a different perspective see the bigger picture of all the things that has came towards us you know seeing your your uh past memories that keeps resurfacing like i tell people anytime they keep resurfacing and i had to be able to call it as I see it for myself. If I keep reminding myself of these things that has happened, you already know what the heck you keep reminding yourself for. You know, you, you don't need to talk about it to the universe because they already know. They seen it and already seeing what, you know, beautiful things are coming your way. So it's just like, you know, I don't know if you're like me, I'm a numbers girl. Anytime a, a number mirrors something like 313, 141, or 1177, or 333, you know, I look those all up. Some of them I know by heart because I've seen them so many times. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll tell you one door is closing or one door is already closed and a new one's opening for you. You have to allow yourself to let go of the things that are not positively serving you on that right fre frequency or let go of the painful past and not be stuck on fears, but allow yourself to be true to yourself, walk in your authentic self, you know, or your authentic form, you know, and sometimes we have a bad time, you know, a bad habit of, you know, keep on thinking about that, you know, I always talk about past vomit or you're in that, um, that rotating door that you keep constantly going through. Yeah, it can be, it can be draining, but a lot of times when you have to constantly keep going through that, there's a reason for it. Either there's a lesson that needs to be learned in that situation or you need to let it go 
so you can be able to gravitate things that needs to be in your life or there's something that you're not seeing that you need to pay attention to it's one of those so it's just like you know I, i'm i'm glad you know for my situation that happened you know yesterday because it, it just allowed me to really see things on so many different levels like i was already seeing them before this happened but it just took me to another level when i was able to let it go and be able to see the positive situation within itself you know i was scared because i didn't know what was going to happen next i know i got control of me but i didn't know if somebody was going to trigger me you know uh being you know if you've been around you know narcissistic people sometimes they try to you know trigger you in front of people to have people look at you like see see what i'm talking about you know because my family used to do that you know they will wait for me to get around and start saying stuff that they know it will piss me off or they know I will get a reaction out of them, you know, out of me. But it was just like when it, being able to see that and it's just like, dang. I noticed that when it comes up, you know, you know, it doesn't even have an emotion to it. So I just see it like dissipate in front of me, just dissolve. And I was just like, wow, that's some psychedelic new stuff I ain't never seen before. So it's just a beautiful blessing to be able to look at things in that perspective that will be helping you to get on so you can go towards that next chapter. Being able to shut those doors that need to have padlocks on it or hell, even burn a daggone thing down. You know, because we don't need to be going back there. You know, we can't start a new chapter if we keep on rereading the last part that we just finished. So it's just like, you know, give yourself that peace of mind you know and i know it can be hard at times to give yourself that peace of mind because i've seen ego was messing with me today and he was like well say this say that and i'm like no nah, what is gonna start an argument for what it ain't gonna change nothing just let it go you see it for what it's worth you change you don't be trying to change somebody else because it's not gonna work you know you can constantly tell people hey it'll be better if you do this or it'll be better if you you look at it from this way and you know sometimes they ain't ready to hear that so they got to be able to learn on their own you know um and all these things you know it, it's sad when we go through things like that because you're like well such and such hurt me and such and such of such and such abused me and this and this and that yeah we know we know and it's a sad situation to go through but like i have to keep constantly telling myself you can't keep recycling these these painful scenarios over and over again you know your blessings are bigger than your problems you know don't allow people to get to you that's trying desperately to prey upon your downfall you know don't worry about that be focused on the things you're trying to achieve in your life stay focused on the things that's going to better you in the long run there's always going to be somebody praying for your downfall you can't worry about folks like that especially if you so focused on your come up you can't be worried about folks like that because what's for you will be for you no matter what people try to say what people try to pray for you know because when god and universe feels that you're ready you ain't gonna when people say no that's gonna be a definite yes for you that's the only thing that matters when you universe and god and them all tell you yes you know they will send you those signs constantly congratulating you keeping up the good work you know allow yourself to see things in a positive way allow yourself to let go of things with love you know and i was looking at my stuff and i'm just like wow it was so collective like you would have thought i had like you know a, a a volume or something i was so daggone calm that mess scared me to me i was like are you still rosalind hold up wait a minute <laughs> you know i had to make sure i was still myself but it, it's a beautiful mess you know it's a beautiful message and a beautiful you know a chapter that when you can be able to see you know the hard uh, hard times that you have endured in life your trauma that you endured in life allow you to see the power and the strength that those situations have brought you you know a lot of times yeah we can wish it never happened but if it didn't you wouldn't have been able to see the strength inside of you that was always there you wouldn't be able to know the confidence and the power that you had instilled in you if these never these things never challenged you the way they were you know yeah things happen to us in life that we can't explain on why they happen you know and you you sometimes you'll try to ask you know where was god at where was universe at when all these bad things were happening to me you know i, I don't have the answers to that you know when it's meant for you to know those answers to those questions trust and believe you will get them 
you know, but as long as you're looking at it in a negative way and you keep going back in that door that they're constantly trying to close. I said, why you go back that way when they're about to open these doors of blessings for you? And I had to keep telling myself that don't do that. You got blessings coming your way that you can't even imagine. You can't keep going back that way. You know, don't be focused on the things that other people are doing just because what they do don't mean you need to do it. You know, and it's hard to deal with that sometimes because it's like, you know, I was watching one of these YouTubers yesterday um, and I felt that because I've said it. You know, you could be doing positive things, pushing yourself, you know, healing your ways, pushing out love for a lot of people. You know, you're sending blessings out. You're doing things selflessly, selflessly. You're seeing a lot of people getting blessed in front of you. And you're like, you know, God, I'm happy for them. But when is my blessing coming up? Your blessings is coming. But you got to keep doing what you need to do to let them know that you, you know, you you in it for the long run. You're not, you're not going to sit up here and then when you get your blessings, just start getting um, complacent in the things that, you know, thinking that, you, oh, okay, my blessings are here, so I don't really got to do nothing after that. You still got work to do after you do that, but it'll be a lot easier when you get what you got to get, what you, you, you know, what you worked hard to earn. So allow yourself to deal with your ups, ups and downs. Allow whatever is holding you back for you to see the positive situation. You at least have five things. You know, there's a million things that, <laughs> you know, that has happened to you that you want the answers for you want an apology for you want the acknowledgement for but a lot of times you just got to take that l and just get that tell that sorry to yourself that the one you have not gotten because sometimes when it's dealing with abusive people and narcissistic people that they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna acknowledge their flaws they're not gonna acknowledge their 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 mistakes because that's actually admitting that they're not perfect you know and they're not gonna do that and if they're saying they're sorry, they, they ain't sorry. You know, you got to be able to let that mess go. It, it's just like how I was dealing with my little devil yesterday on my shoulder. So I ain't going to engage in that because it ain't going to make a difference, but it's going to make a difference for me. So, you know, it's a blessing to be able to close those doors and give yourself a pat on the back when you're able to let go of things that really has brought you to a dark place. You know, things that you never thought you would be able to get over because it's just like anything else in your life yes it's been very painful but there's a time there's times that has happened in your your timeline that you felt like you would never get over it and then when you look back at it, it's like god dog i don't know why i made all that you know that fuss for something and i'm not it doesn't even affect me anymore so allow those emotions of the past to dissolve because it has no purpose anymore the the purpose that it causes for you to have that strength from that situation from you to have power from that situation for you to be able to have that love for yourself from that situation because you truly deserve the blessings that are coming towards your way look out for the signs keep working on yourself keep bettering yourself elevate your yourself in ways you were never able to elevate yourself from before allow yourself to be able to see the things in a bigger picture and knowing why why things happen the way they happen but no that these situations can no longer affect you in the way that it has before because you have blessings that's coming in your life and like I keep saying for myself is what I'll tell y'all your blessings are way bigger than the problems that you used to deal with so let those go so you can be able to gravitate towards the things that are truly going to be beneficial for you in the long run so I hope you were able to uh, resonate with the content of my video please send out as much love and light as you possibly can um be safe and responsible on everything you do and um send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and my post notification shout out goes to my my lovely uh fam is just sweet to my heart miguel hurtado I hope I pronounced your last name right. But much love to you. Many blessings. You know, you're going to get wherever you truly need to get. And many blessings towards your way. And many blessings to everybody else. Um, and I will see you on my next video. Be safe. Be responsible. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop a line. Give me a thumbs up. And also share. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Peace.